If you're looking for a stylish background for your project, try out this one that you can make super easily in After Effects. Start with your pen tool, make sure you have your stroke set to a color you like, and I'd recommend setting the stroke to somewhere around 30, but you can always adjust it later. Zoom out of your comp so you have some more room, hold shift and make a long vertical line like this. Drag it over to the left side of your screen and then open its window up, click this button and add a repeater. Open up the repeater settings and increase the copies until it goes off the screen like this. Feel free to play with any of the settings as well so the lines are distributed how you like them. Now turn it into a 3D object by clicking this button. Hit R to bring up your rotate settings and adjust it so the lines are coming in at an angle similar to this one that I'm making here. Once you've got an angle you like, go ahead and hit P for position and now adjust it so that there's no gaps around the edges. You might have to change some settings on your repeater, adjust your stroke, or increase the length of your original line, but just get it to a place that you're happy with. Now that it's situated, let's animate. Make sure you go into the shape layers contents and click on this part, and then click this button again and add a wiggle path. Now open up the wiggle paths window and set the points to smooth. Crank up the size a whole bunch, like somewhere between 500 and 1000. Put the wiggles per second at somewhere between 0.1 and 0.5. And then, if you aren't quite happy with the pattern it's making, adjust the random seed until it's at a place that you think is good. Now the background's done, but let's say I want to put a graphic over it like this one. It doesn't look bad, but it's just a little difficult to look at with how the shifting lines interact with the edge of my box. We're gonna fix that in a fun way by right clicking and adding a new adjustment layer. Go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. Raise the blurriness to around 20 and make sure Repeat Edge Pixels is turned on. Make sure that the adjustment layer is below any graphics you have and then select your ellipse tool and we're going to make a mask. Draw an oval like this that surrounds your graphic as well as most of the middle portion of your composition. Adjust it if you need to and then go to your mask settings and set it to subtract. Lastly, hit F on your keyboard to bring up the mask's feather and just crank that up. Now it doesn't look like too much has changed, but what we've done is essentially alter the depth of field and it makes it easier for the eye to focus on this middle portion. Hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you next time. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.